Okay, guys, inching up on about where I like an exhaust setup. Now, this, I tried to keep our variables minimum. So, basically, the only thing that's changed is that overhang on our short side radius. It's much less than it was. As of this moment, we are 1.34 inches at the throat on from left to right and 1.4 inches top to bottom. Now, if you average that out, it's about an 84.3% throat ratio. Okay, was it better than the 83.75? Notice how I'm inching up on this. That's kind of the way I have to do it because if I take too big a, too big a cut, it kind of screws things up too much. Now, I have to show you guys what I did with the short side because I took, it's been blended in, but I tried not to change it too much. Okay, let's explain that. Okay, not the easiest thing in the world to see, right? We brought that down quite a bit. It still has a nice overhang, but it's been brought relatively straight and then a quick turn. Let's see if I can show you this. Okay, this comes up to its minimum, and then it just goes, instead of knocking this way back, like it probably needs to, it's actually working fairly well the way it is. Now, it's it's not all smooth or anything, it's just a light burr texture, very usable just the way it is. But let's see if it was an improvement or not over what we had. Okay, we're going to look at my messy sheet. This is where you guys saw it last time. Not bad. Topped out around 180. Not bad. This is where we are, okay? Now, SSR reshaped straight, meaning it kind of comes off that radius, and it's still very high and angular instead of laid back like it probably should be. Let me put some pluses and minuses in for you guys. Okay, the minuses and pluses are a little deceiving. It's not as good down low. Okay, we have some extra noise. We lost some right off the bottom, which I don't really care about, to be honest. 200, we're starting to come back a little bit. And then we have a little bit of a low spot right in here. It's not a big difference, but it's, it's a loss. Loss. And after that, we start to make nice gains. I mean, you got 10 at 700. Yeah, we're probably not going to use it at 700. But you got 7 at 600 lift, which is more, more accurate. Now the important part is, what happened to our air speeds? Well, we're going to compare our second row air speeds to our last row air speeds. I put a, a line between them so a little bit easier to differentiate. Okay, taking it 600 lift, the pluses and minuses on this are a little bit send you in the wrong direction too. I mean, if you really got to pay attention and compare it to the last number, 318 to 329, good. 312 to 322, good, up. 166, 196, big step up on the on the floor. All right, getting the floor efficient makes a huge difference, guys. Okay, how'd we do here? We went from 316 to 315, almost no difference, but it's still a minus. 275 to 318, nice, nice increase. 210 to 272, it's very rare, I have the center of the floor working that well. That's really unusual. Interesting though. How did we do here? We went from 320 to 328. A slight downturn. It's a minus. 333 to 332. Barely, just one down. Still a minus. 242 to 250. A little bit of a step up. Overall, these numbers are way better at 600. Now we will go from one. 80.5 to 187.1 they should be better all right guys i think we're going to move up to my go-to number on the exhaust which is 86 percent i'm stuck between whether i should fix that short side or not i may have to do an extra flow test keep the short side like this relatively straight it's going to lose more and more efficiency right because it's coming it's coming off the seat and it's got a real hard turn the way it is now 
right? It would work a lot better if we if we change that angle, right? Something to think about. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.